Happy Sunday YouTube, this is Lunar here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a starburst, sunburst, whatever you want to call it, uh, sun rays kind of effect for your uh, designs. And for example, they look kind of like this, or you know, this right here, and maybe some of this, and something like that. So to get started, there's um, three, three different ways you can do this, and I'm going to show you all three, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. To get started, you can do a big sh a big circle, and you can get your line tool. <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna unclick on the circle first, and then I'm gonna get my line tool, and then put a line right here, right down the middle, and I'm gonna give it a pink outline so that you can see it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to copy and then paste behind on um, Windows. It's Control B to paste behind, and so I'll just rotate it. And then I'll select both. I'll do copy and then paste behind. And then rotate it again. And then I'll select all of them. I'll do control C for copy, control B or command B for paste behind. And then I will get them all again. And then I'll probably do this one last time. And do control C, control B. And then I will move them all. And so now from here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and so you can select them all and if you go to the shape builder tool you can individually select all of these except it, sh it looks like some of them aren't touching the outside of the circle so let me see if live paint will pick it up uh, yeah so live paint will pick up each individual shape and you can just fill in the different colors uh, let me undo this a little bit let me fill in every other one with white yeah, it's kind of weird. The shape builder would pick up three or four at a time like the lines weren't all the way connected, but they should have been. And so now I will just take off the um, pink outline and, you know, this means you're still in live paint, so you want to expand it so that you can do other things with it. So now it's expanded, and if I move it off, you'll see that it's a cool radial sunburst pattern. And, like, from here you can add anything behind it to change the color and it'll look kind of like that and of course you can use this with clipping masks so you don't see all of this you just see like the square that you need and yeah it's pretty cool and so another way you can do this is you can like manually make your own like wedge and from here you can select the rotate tool which is right here R. if you click it once you will have a plus icon a cursor whatever and what this is asking is it's asking you to put the or like place the anchor point so I'm gonna place it down here on this bottom anchor and you'll see this little teal thing has moved from up there to down here and now you have an arrow pointer from here you need to click drag and hold whoa okay let me try this again so I'm gonna place it down here I'm gonna click there we go I'm gonna click drag and hold alt it looks like uh, maybe option on Mac and it'll copy it once and then now you can do control D to duplicate that and just do it all the way around and then select all of them get rid of your outline and so now now you have another another one like uh, just a different way to make it the only problem with this is there's a way to make it match up exactly but see it doesn't match up exactly so there's uh, no white space but like I said there's a way to make it match up exactly I don't remember to do that off the top of my head but this is another option and let me show you option number three which um, I just actually found out today <laughs> I was doing a little research and this way kinda blew my mind so I'm really excited to show you this I'm going to make a circle um, and do it outline only and I'll do it in black so that you can see it against the white I'm gonna select dashed line and then I'm gonna up the points to about 50 but it really doesn't matter uh, you just need them kind of long like if you do them 100 they'll just be longer like that and if you do them 25 it'll just be longer but I'm gonna do it uh, let's just do 75 actually so I'm gonna hit enter and so from here you want to expand it so that it's you can like edit it and so first it looks like I'll have to expand uh, appearance and then nothing looks like it happened but if you go expand again and hit OK then now you can edit these so let me show you this new tool that I just found. It's called Pucker Tool. And if you select it, 
um, you can see that you have this big circle thing and you're like well what do I do so you may you know maybe you want to mess with it and um, if you do this wow it looks like it grabs it this is like so new to me it's so cool what it looks like it does is it looks like it grabs all the inside ends and it connects it to like the center point of the circle so now you can have the center point of your starburst anywhere this is so freaking cool um, so yeah now you have a perfect starburst it's uh, pretty neat and so let's make another one move this one out of the way and I want to try something new something different um, let's make the outline again and I'll do dashed line and I'll do this at 50 again but this time I want to see if I can get thicker thicker things so I think the dash is what it's gonna to have to be yeah change the dash to about let's do 30 and I'm gonna uncheck it and check it so yeah now they're they're thicker and so I'll go object expand and then hit OK and then instead of just clicking pucker this time I'll, or I'll click it so you can see the circle again but I'm gonna double click it to bring me into options so that I can show you uh, what the options do and so right now it's on 3.61 inches so let me change that to 2 inches and then 2 inches and then hit OK and so see that makes my brush size smaller and um, so I will double click back into this and make let's do four inches by four inches and then hit OK and so now it's larger and it almost covers the whole thing so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so that it covers the whole thing I'm gonna do four point three and then four point three and then hit OK so now it covers all of the inside circles so I'm just gonna click once uh, let me try it again okay it's not really doing anything oh there we go so I guess you do have to kind of click and drag a little bit to make sure that you're getting everything but uh, so yeah there's that and I wonder if you can like edit it if you can like click it yeah you, oh I guess but it looks like if you hit the outsides it'll it'll unselect them you see that it's kinda cool kinda weird all at the same time but hope this video helped you guys um, it's a really cool tool that I've actually not used before and it's called the pucker tool which is underneath the width tool so yeah hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and have a good rest of your Sunday and have a great week see you next week